Okay, now if you take a look at the very smallest ring on, my f on the far left, that has a much brighter, more silver look than the one in the middle, correct? They're both four millimeters, and uh, you can tell I've done some etching on it. Uh, that's just, it's just a test ring, so I don't mind messing this up for you guys. But in short, the one in the middle, right here, that is a higher grade titanium ring. The, the higher grade it is, the more grayish in color it's going to be compared to the bright, bright silver. And the bright silver is that way simply because tin has been added to the metal. Now, this is an actual metal itself. It's, it's uh, graded as a TI. Uh, TI metal uh, or titanium will be gray in color not really a natural silver. So to get that color for jewelry, you have to have tin blended in the mix. There are many, many different grades of titanium, and that's where a density test is taken uh, on these, and different grades are given. You could have a commercial grade that stretches really easy. You could have a jeweler's grade, like this right here, that is uh, much harder uh, and much better quality. This is what uh, the customer that I was talking about received. And, um, and then you have another grade where if it's more silver in color, uh, it just simply has some tin added to it so that it has a nice, bright, shiny look. So what's, what's this right here in the, in the middle right here? Well, I, I needed something that you could have a comparison to. And uh, this, is, this is just regular steel. Um, uh, this is not, not a um, titanium band. Okay. First test that you could do, other than the density test that I already talked about, the density test is only going to tell you how hard the titanium is. Doesn't doesn't negate whether uh, it's titanium or not. It is mag magnetic testing. So let me go ahead and show you real quick that I in fact do have a magnet in my hand. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put these rings down real quick. Hold on a second. I know this video is going to be all over the place now. Put them in the same order that you just saw them. All right. Here's a magnet. Not even a very powerful magnet, but it still was going to do the job. It's going to stick to anything steel. It won't stick to titanium. Now watch. That is steel. That is not titanium. Okay, but look here, nothing. What about this one, even when, it, when it's al aluminum? Nothing, because titanium is non-magnetic. That's the first test that you could do to confirm that it definitely is titanium. Second test uh, is going to be anodization. And if you want to anodize something, you could do it in a couple different ways. One way to anodize is using a power power box or a strong battery. Um, you would have to have really for a uh, for rather titanium. You need you need about 18 volts, which is bigger than a car battery. Um, but you could still try to anodize using a flame, and I like using flame uh, uh, fire more simply because it works much faster. Okay, so being the being that this is real titanium, it's not going to take long to uh, anodize. And this is an anodization process, and I'm going to go ahead and do a close-up for you. Um, but I want you to see exactly how fast this, this will actually anodize up. I'm going to go ahead and turn off some of these lights so you get a better view of it. You can already see it turning yellow. So here's the first color in the anodization process. Looks really nice, right? Now look at the temperature. Okay. It's at 219 degrees to get that yellow. Now, that's a good looking ring. It has, has a real nice yellow look. 
for those of you that are just watching in and you want to see how to how to anodize there's there's how fast you can make a ring yellow okay so now let's go ahead and make it blue which will be a blue to a violet you can see how fast this happens Okay, I'm almost done. Now we're at a blue. A couple spots of yellow that I could touch up. But let's go ahead and get a temperature reading on that. Let's get rid of some of that yellow. Make it nice and blue. All right, how's that look? Nice and blue, guys? All right, let's find out the temperature of it. So that shows you what uh, what what um, real titanium does. So let's take something that we know isn't titanium. I'll take this for instance. And I'm going to have to get really, really hot to make this do anything. I want you to notice how this one I got glowing. Now, if I went any further on the titanium, it would just turn black. This is literally glowing, right? Can't get any hotter. I'm actually melting it. Look at that. Okay, let's go ahead and drop it inside of water. And I want you to look. No anodization. Okay. Now, if we take straight steel, we'll st straight steel anodize. Sure, a little bit. Uh, not nearly as easy, uh, and I certainly don't have to melt the ring. That was copper, by the way. Um, so we went to a temperature, I should have measured it for you, so hot that the copper actually melted and went nanotized at all. So let's just keep going on this, and you can see I've got to get this one to red hot. Notice how it's red hot right now? Okay, now let's get the temperature reading on this one. And hopefully I can do this for you. It's airing out because it's so hot. Okay. But I've got a reading of 361 degrees, and look, still no anodization, just a burn. It's got a burn mark, but still doesn't anodize. Not like that. Not like titanium. So, dip it off in water, and I want you to take a look. Look at that. No anodization. Okay, here's your ring, four millimeter, and I'm going to ruin it for you, yay. Okay, that's it guys, look, it's not impervious, uh, I, I know why, I mean, I, know, I get it, I understand why people might think it is, because titanium has a reputation, titanium does bend, that, doesn't, that wasn't even very much, look, here, hold on one second, let me take my hand, and go a little bit further for you. There. I just bent titanium with my hand. Okay? It happens. And this all allows me the uh, opportunity to be able to help a lot of customers that think that titanium can't be um, uh, resized. Uh, it's just that a jeweler doesn't want to do it because it could actually uh, break their machine. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this on here for you. And as if I was resizing it, voila, I'm back to perfectly round right now. Okay, so yes, 
in short, titanium can be stretched, it can be reduced, um, I could get different sizes out of it. Um, it is non-magnetic, it anodizes easier, uh, and that's about, uh, other than tension tests, uh, which would show like this, the reason this one stretches easier than other bands is because of the tin inside of it. So other than a tension test, uh, just proving what level or grade of titanium it is, that is simply how you find out whether it's titanium or not.